This is Raven coming at you in season 27. It's time to do the set dungeon with the Seeker of Light set, the Crusader. Now this is not that bad. There's a couple tricks to it. And I'll show you where the dungeon is in a minute. But let's take a look at some of the, the gear that I got on her. Let's go over here and take a look at the cube. We'll start with that. Rebuttal. Falling sword can be used again within four seconds before the cooldown triggers. This is really important in a dungeon dungeon because your most important skills are bless hammer and falling store uh, sword. This is what the dungeon is all about. And then you want hammer jammers. Enemies take 400% increased damage from your bless hammers for 10 seconds after you hit them. With a blind and mobilizing or stun. My follower does have stun on her, so she's helpful in the dungeon. And I do have the Zodiac Ring. Reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second when you hit with a resource spending attack. It's helpful in the dungeon because it, it this requires a lot of cooldown. And you need quite a bit to get through it real nice. I got 63.18% and that actually works pretty well. Let's take a look at some of this gear, especially with the new theme where you can change your weapon like a primal. This is really handy for the dungeon. And the swift mount, bless hammer, now crackles with energy damaging enemies within 15 yards of its path. Now throws a hammer in a direct path in front of the Crusader. And you want to wear this. It doubles the duration of Steed Charge. Because this helps you get around the dungeon pretty fast. And then for the shield. I got the guard. Bless hammer damage is increased by 200% for the first three enemies hit. This is really handy. And of course you want Captain Chrisms for more cooldown. Reduces all your cooldown 20% and resources by 20%. This is you, this is a necessity to wear for the dungeon to get in and out real quick and uh, keep everything up. And I do have diamonds for resistance in my gear and a diamond in my helm for more cooldown. I am wearing travelers. I do have cooldown on that. I don't have cooldown on my ring, but I don't have a socket in my amulet, but that's fine. You know, you'll you be fine if you don't have sockets. You could actually get away with probably all your gems and get it done. I do have Banner of the Trap, and for the other ring, I am wearing Ring of Royal Grandeur because I don't have it in my queue. Reduce the number of items needed for set bonuses by one. you got to have this on. To wear Captain Chrisms to get into the dungeon, else you won't you won't be able to open up the dungeon. And I do have cooldown on my shoulders, and I do have cooldown on my gloves. The shield, I have cooldown also. And you can wear whatever wrist you want. I just put this on. Each stunned enemy within 25 yards reduces your damage taken by 10%, because she does stun them. My helper. I got all the skills activated. So that's really helpful. You can change her around if you wish. That's up to you. But look at some of these other skills here. I got Slash. The Guard. Gain increased armor for each enemy hit. It's really handy. For your champion. Embodiment of power. Increases a bonus wrap regeneration. For your uh, for your character here, this is important where you don't run out of uh, wrath. And then for laws of valor, unstoppable force and power in the laws also reduces the wrath cost. So that's really helpful. Falling sword, rapid descent, reduce the cooldown for each enemy hit by falling sword. So that helps with more cooldown. Bless hammer. The hammer now orbits you as you move, and this is important. 
you can try something different, but this is uh, the best one you can use in this dungeon. Where you can wipe these monsters out and get through it real quick. And then, of course, the Steed Charge. I am using Nightmare. I have tried different ones. But uh, this seems to work the best. You can try different ones if you want. Maybe Endurance. Increase the duration for three seconds. It's up to you. But this is really, this works really well. Let's take a look at these uh, passive skills. While wielding a one-handed weapon, your attack speed is increased by 15% and cooldown is reduced by 15%. Now I got a one-handed weapon on. I have made a mistake just by messing around with my characters, doing uh, conquests and things like this, and I forgot to take that off because I had a, a two-handed weapon and I put a one-handed weapon on. But it, it didn't hurt nothing. But make sure you check it if you're changing your gear around to get your season journey done. And I, unfortunately, I, it didn't hurt nothing, like I said. So I had to definitely put this on for my one-handed weapon, which is really important. And then for the other uh, passive skill, indestructible. And then uh, long arm of the law. And then, of course, gain 1.5% strength for every gem socketed into your gear. That's really handy. But I had a, a viewer that brought that to my mind. I happened to have a one-handed weapon on and I happened to switch it out. And I'm glad she did because it makes me take a little closer look when I'm switching out to get conquests and uh, going through the season journey. But let's go in here and take a look at where this dungeon is at. You want to go to Act 2. You want to go to the Ancient Waterway. Now I'm in normal. You can do this in any level that you want. You can do it in T16, whatever you want. It will not change the level of the dungeon. The dungeon has a preset level. Let's go over here. And you want to go in here. The Water Log Passage. And you want to jump all the way down here. And it'll be right here in the corner. You are worthy to enter the set dungeon of Seeker of Life. And it looks like my game froze. Oh, there it goes. Thought I got stuck for a minute. Let's take a look at this. Dungeon of the Seeker of the Light. Primary objectives. Cast Falling Sword three times in 15 seconds. Three times. And a second objective. Do not get hit by any of the monsters. The mort Mortar. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't want the basic. I do want the mastery. So I got to do both of these. But this is not bad. There's a trick. It's an old trick to it. Let's jump in here and I'll show you real quick. As soon as you jump in, start hitting uh, your uh, falling sword. Stay, don't, stay put where you're at. And that's got to go all the way back around and then hit it again. And we'll get this first one done. And then we'll go kill all our monsters. There we go. That's why it's important in a cube to have that where you can cast this uh, immediately after you cast the first one. So we got one done. We got to do three of them. We got two done. And you got plenty of time. You got four minutes still to get this done. That's why it's important about your horse. Almost one more. And we should have this completed. And then we'll go kill all the monsters. See if we can get our mastery done. There it is. I got that completed. I want to put my champion up. Get my... Start getting these up. You are mine Patience. Now. Bad luck for there you, we go. Friend. Not yet. I was lagging or something. And start using slash. Just start wiping them out. 
Get these two behind me before they hit me. Got one more. Not ready yet. Had enough. But she got plenty of time. That was a rough start. It was like I got a lag or something. But the horse is really important. Bad luck for you, friend. And your champion to keep up the wrap. That's really important. Enough. We almost got it. It took me a minute to get used to my buttons. It's actually been a little while since I've done the dungeon. Not enough wrath. Here goes the horse. Really handy. And you can use slash. That'll help you with your uh, your wrath and your armor. Let's go over here. We got 27 left. Not we still got yet. a minute. Yep. Still got a minute. They're back here somewhere. Run over here. They're back here. There we go. Make your peace quickly. I uh, still got some somewhere. Not yet. Ah, uh, they're up here. Still got, Not ready yet. You still got, you're going to have time to get this done. There it is. It's been a while since I've done my dungeons, but I definitely wanted to get it completed for this season. I have done them all, but this is the way to get it done for your uh, season journey. To get your pet and get your season done you this is for any season you can the setup is for any season but this uh for season 27 i definitely wanted to complete the season journey just to get the pet just uh, by just messing around but this is definitely the way to get it done let's take a look at the map it actually is a kind of odd looking area but it's straight once you go down here and go across, you can go run all the way straight and then run up here and go like that. And run up here and go back across and uh, you will complete it. But that's definitely how to finish your dungeon for uh, season 27 with the Seeker of the Light set. The setup is not bad. The gear is not hard to find just by farming. You definitely need the swift mount and uh, make sure you get the guard. It doesn't matter really about what gems. This is the best gem, Ban of the Trap. You can change out the other gem if you wish. That's up to you, Ban of the Powerful. Like I said, I don't have a gem here. And of course, the wrist. You can use whatever you want. It'd have been nice if I'd have had cooldown on a, a wrist or something. But make sure you get plenty cooldown. Let's go back in town. I need to go back. Let's get back here and we'll take a look at our My stomach master strange. dungeon here. I got some new Let's things. jump in here. Take a look. I pushed the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Uh, to be champion. 
Mastermind. Master any set dungeon. So that is completed. 10 of 10. Uh, what do I got here? That's done. That's done. I got the last one. Complete three conquests. And that would be boss mode. Let's take a look at this. Achievements. Conquest. Yep, within 20 minutes of the start of the game, kill the following bosses at the max level on Torment 10 or higher. I wouldn't go any higher, and then you got to kill all your bosses. I definitely will bring that to you also. I'm going to use my cr Crusader for this season and uh, get this done. And I will bring you the build for that where you can run through it with a Crusader. A Demon Hunter is excellent to wipe it out and especially the monk in this season a monk is quick she is crazy fast and she can go through the walls but if this was helpful give me a thumbs up this is raven this is raven out